Good evening, everyone. I am coming to you live from my office slash turtle room to provide an update on my new turtle habitat because it just keeps on changing and I keep tweaking things and you'd be surprised um, how turtles travel. Like she loves to try to get into the smallest space possible. So I have to make sure that she can't escape her enclosure. And I'm sure I'm going to be learning more and need to add more barriers uh, or borders as time, as she gets bigger. So here's the latest update. Let me just put this down because there's no more sunlight coming through for the day. There wasn't any actually at all today. All right, so we start here. Hey, Anita. We start here with her 20 gallon tank. This is what she was living in before. And it's still cycling, so it's kind of cloudy. It's not quite up to standard yet, but it takes a while for that. Here's Mrs. Turtle. Hey, Mrs. Turtle. Hanging out on some river rocks. Uh, here's her castle. She likes to lean on that and look up out of the water. And of course, the Krusty Krab. So here we are. We have a UVB light here that um, acts as sunlight. That's usually on the other tank, but I put it here for a little while today. You have a nice brand new filter. This right here is her basking dock, and here's her basking light. She tends, to, she likes to hang out here and look out the window. So I'm glad that I moved it to this area. Hey, I'm not a turtle lady. <laughs> it's okay, I don't mind. I've been called worse. So here's ramp number one. Now this ramp slash bridge has gone through so many incarnations. This is my final version that I think is going to work. So here we are, we have a little ramp here that this is a ramp from a over, a, 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 what is it? A, um, a, a basking dock that sits on top of the tank that she never liked. So I never used it, but I used this ramp from it, which is perfect. This right here is half of Mrs. Half, oh gosh, half of Tatiana's cat scratcher. It was this uh, like X shaped cat scratcher and you fit the two pieces in together right here, which is why I had to block this off because this was open. So imagine that she, let me see if I can get her to participate. She's hiding right now. Let's see, do you want to see her go down the ramp, Anita? If I can catch her, let me see. Come here. Uh, gotcha. Okay. Let's put her on the ramp. Hi, Mrs. Turtle. I'll give her a little... And she loves to go towards the right. I don't... No, no we're going to go this way. Go to the other side. Okay, so she's going to go down her ramp. And of course, she's going to try to climb up and over. And she's going to come back. Don't you want to visit your other one? Here, come here. Visit. No, come. <laughs> here. Visit. Wait, wait. She's really strong. Ah! Mrs. Turtle, relax. I want you to visit your other. Wait, go this way. Okay, there she goes. But she's good at crawling. She can crawl over things. Here she goes. And she's in. Boom. There she is. Yay. So every night I put her in the 40 gallon, which is here. And when I wake up in the morning, she has traveled to the 20 gallon. So let's focus on the 40 gallon for a moment. We have a basking dock here, one of my favorites, and it can still rise this much higher. So it just can have more water in it, but I don't want more water because I think she'll be able to get out. So she likes to chill out up there. Um, she doesn't really need this, but she, cause she's, one night I didn't have it there and she somehow ended up in the other tank. I don't know. So she has another basking light here. I think I'm going to only have one UVB light, this one over here, shining on this tank. And then she can get actual sunlight from the window, but I'll have to see. Uh, so yeah, this is it. This tank has a, uh, a canister filter, which is a very strong filter that has three different mediums that the water has to go through. Um, 
pulls water out, cleans it, puts it back in. So you need a pretty powerful tank, uh, filter for a tank of this size. I would, mm, it's a 40 gallon tank and I think it has about, mm, maybe 30 gallons of water in it right now. Yeah, that's it. My two tanks. Uh, I'm going to get some friends for Mrs. Turtle. Right now, it will, well, it'll have to be larger fish because she eats all the fish that her, are in there. And I am definitely going to get some friends for this 20 gallon tank. I might end up putting feeder fish in here and let her hunt for fish. I don't know if I want to put the feeder fish in this tank or the 20 gallon tank. For now, this plant will stay here because it looks kind of like an overgrown forest. Um, these are what I ended up using for the fence. It's this uh, rubber fencing from Lowe's that goes, you know, around flower gardens. And so are these. These are wooden pieces that I cut off of a long strip for those who uh, didn't see the other video. I cut those off of this long strip with stakes that go into the ground. So that took a bit of work. Uh, that's just the regular cardboard box back there that provided a good barrier. So I decided to use it. We have a barrier that goes along the back and we have some barriers that go along the side and that's pretty much it a little bit of flowers a little bit of decoration and then this is her night light right here you can switch it to night light bright light night light so i hope you enjoyed your own personal video tour anita and if i update it again I will show more videos. I may end up adding some kind of barrier going along the side, but uh, I don't know yet. We'll see. And no, the uh, cats don't bother her at all. I have a turtle cam in here. It's turned off right now. And so I can watch during the day. And if I hear it has sound on it, and if I'm at work and I hear any kind of ruckus or get a, a notification, then I can just run home and save her. So, hope you enjoyed!